lemons. Happy New Year, lemon crew. So in today's video, we're gonna be making sugar cookies. I'll leave the recipe in the description, so if you wanna make them and send us pictures, do it. And I will leave, I'll give her the American translation of whatever the heck that word is. Conversion! Boom. Get ready video. Hello, so I'm just gonna explain how we made them at the start and like at the points it needs to be so like at the start I'll say like what you need and like the ways to add them and then when you've got to put them in the oven I'll tell you like when you need to do that and what you need to do with that and then what you need to do with the icing but yeah this video I hate like it's so long and it's a pain <laughs> to actually add except for two point of views from me and then Kayla's point of view and yeah, that's kind of hard to do on a phone, so <laughs> we're winging it. Hope you enjoy it though, it's going to be kind of similar to yesterday's video in the style of it, but yeah, enjoy. Hello, so, um, heads up, you might want to preheat your oven before you even start doing any of the next stuff I'm showing you, which will be to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 4. Cool. So you need 115 grams of butter, 175 grams of caster sugar, 350 grams of flour, a pinch of salt, one egg, one tablespoon of milk, and a splash of vanilla extract. Okay, so the first thing you do is you add the flour, sugar, and salt together and add the wet liquids in a separate bowl. Then you add all the wet to the dry and mix it all together. You should get to a consistency like this, then you add your egg and mix it in and then add the vanilla extract. In a bowl. Oh, that's what's beeping. It's my microwave. Hold on. It says in a separate bowl, but I can't be bothered, so... Wink, 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 Hi, brother. My butter's stuck. What do you want? I'm a professional baker. Gordon Ramsay, watch out, beach. You're an idiot sandwich. One A. Tap on the side. Baking takes time and effort. Big chunky. Ow. <laughs> I'm making a British recipe, guys. Look at me go. <laughs> Show. Once you've got it to a consistency where you can't really mix it anymore, use your hands and knead it into a ball so you can roll it out and cut the shapes out. It should look similar to this consistency. I can't be bothered. Oops, it's the wave. I'm just gonna whack it with my hands a couple times. It's in this Gordon Ramsay who? Your basic bisco one. I'm gonna move Ashley back. I can't hear you. Mine's the opposite. Cause I'm not adding no chemicals in my cookies, B. Oh, I got some flour on my iPad. Such a ding dong. I'm not a professional baker. I don't use them. Wait a minute, I know that because I'm a professional. Uh oh. I don't have a Gordon Ramsay accent though. We're heating wow. Thanks. Look at how cute my cookie car box is. I just went to the store and bought it. I got a Christmas tree. I have a bell. Rudolph. A gingerbread me. A Christmas present. Storm. A snowflake. A snowman. Now it's in a ball form, you slap it out onto the table so you can roll it out using a rolling pin. Add some flour so it doesn't stick. Make sure you slap it with your hands a couple times too, just cause. Then use a rolling pin to flatten it out to a very thin but generous size so you can make the cookies and they won't fall apart but they're not too thick that they won't cook. It's sort of like a coin sort of thickness or two small coins. Once you've done this, use your cookie cutter to cut out the cookie shapes you want. So I've used a bunch of different ones, as you can see from the side there, and Kayla showed hers off just now. And here's my monstrous teddy bear. How are you going? Uh, maybe I'll just make like a mousse. Cause this is an ant You're an idiot sandwich. I hope you heard that burp. Did you know there's a guy in Cardiff who walks around with a Christmas hat all year round and says happy days? Okay guys, I'm throwing them in the oven. 
Then you throw them in the oven for 10 minutes, but keep an eye on them so they don't overcook or undercook. They should end up looking this sort of colour where they're not too dark, not too light, and you can see them starting to brown on the edges. Okay, so we're going to talk about two ways to make icing. One way is the homemade way, and one of them is the store-bought one. Store-bought one first. Over to you, Kayla. I was going to show Kayla do it, but like, she's lazy and just did store-bought, so... Shout out to you, Kayla, for being lazy. Okay, so to make icing, you use icing sugar and water. You do three parts icing sugar, one part water. Like you'll see later on in the video, I did way too much water, so please stick to this religiously because honestly, icing sugar is a pain in the ass if you get it wrong. Hello, so I've got really lazy with editing this because I've been editing it for so long and there's so much to cut down and it's such a long video that I'm just gonna, yeah, time lapse all this as making, as decorating the cookies and just add some music for you to listen to. So enjoy how awkward we are <laughs> and how bad mine turn out because honestly my icing was so runny and it looks really bad but it's kind of entertaining so how bad it is but you saw the thumbnail so you see how bad it is Okay, I hope you guys <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this random not random. I hope you guys enjoyed 
this video of 12 Days Christmas. Dog's eating. Sorry about my dog eating. Hopefully she won't be too long. Finished product. My cookies were kind of a fail. I just made the icing too thin. They do taste really good though. I just made the icing way too thin, so make sure you do that thick enough. Um, yeah, I would recommend these cookies. They're really good. Um, uh, Kayla does that bit. And then, easy, wait, easy peasy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other suggestions, of videos you'd like to see from us comment them down below hit the subscribe button check out all of our other 12 days of christmas videos um like subscribe comment hit the bell you know the drill because it's easy peasy and squeezy <laughs>